Hi, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Now we're going to look at the superior tib fib joint. And the angle of the joint is going to go more from uh, to a posterior medial direction. So what we want to do is you want to find the superior part of the fibula. We can come down, find the fibula head. You should be able to grab it right there, the top and the bottom. Then what we can do is in order to get it to line up better, one way in this is we could turn his leg into internal rotation. We could take our thenar eminence, go onto that, hold this internal rotation of the tibia, and I could do a glide, find the angle, there it is. So do a glide, take up a slack, and do a spring. Again, remember, if I didn't do it correctly and I just kept the leg like this, I start pushing down, I don't feel a lot. But as soon as I rotate his leg in, keep his tibia rotated in, get onto that part, I get that and I get a nice play with the angle, there it is. So for him, even if I push straight down in this position, it's kind of balky, but as soon as I change my angle, a little bit, there it is. It has that wig ability, it's called, I call it. Now, the other way to do it, I like, is have your knee bent up. Okay, have him in this position. Okay, I know you what you're doing. And I'm gonna turn his foot out a little bit. Relax his biceps femoris. I like to sit on their foot a little bit. I grab the, the, the proximal part of the fibula, and then I can go play with the angle. And you see, it has to have this nice back and forth motion. I almost call it, it's called wiggability, not an official term, but I want to have that ability to come back and forth. If we're trying to do a, a posterior glide, we want to go more into that direction. But also, I'll do a quick test back and forth. Does it have that? It should actually have a little pain-free, little clunky. That's how you know it have this nice free motion. Okay, so we take up a slack and we see what that spring is for a posterior glide, or we can just go AP back and forth to feel it. Okay, treatment-wise, same idea. Take up the slack, hold it, sustain, hold it, or we can do um, oscillations, 30 seconds, three times, then retest. A lot of times with this, you'll wind up seeing that sometimes you'll have overactivation of the biceps femoris attaching there. You have all kinds of issues that can affect up the chain. But for another day, this is Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Mm -hmm.